What is up, guys, and welcome to the Man Cave Podcast official YouTube channel. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. Before this video starts, I just wanted to announce that on BigDosManCave.com, we officially have hoodies, shirts, flags, all sorts of awesome merchandise. If you guys want to support the movement, if you want to join the fam, go to the website, get yourself something, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm pretty sure the people are probably dying right about now to hear this Compton story. <laughs> This Compton Dude, story. guys, we legit almost, <laughs> we almost died. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> All right, so just just to give everyone some context, um, we we flew you out to L.A., right? I was in L.A. for a little while, and we flew yeah. you out to the airport, picked you up. We were just filming some videos. There's four of us. This is, me. I think this is the second, the second time that we had collaborated, right? Yes. Something like that. What was the first time we collaborated? First time was just here at ASU. The, the or nerd rap, nerds beatbox at college. Was that the first yep. one? Really? First one. And then the Compton one was the second one. And then the grandpa one. Okay. And then we haven't done anything. So we've only, oh, wait, we've no, only done the three? Santa Claus one. Oh, we've done four. That's, That's right. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> I pick you up at the airport. We're in LA. And we, we flew you out to do two videos, right? The Compton one and then the grandpa one the day after? Yeah. Okay. Or you no, know, the grandpa one was the, the first one, and then the Compton one was the next one because that's why we were on such a tight uh, time frame because we had to get you to the airport. That's right. So that's why we like, Actually, had to find yeah, a way yeah. to finish it. Mm -hmm. I think we because we had um, we had uh, money for the makeup, and we wanted to make sure that we got that video done. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we did it first, and then right. the third one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which. This should be a whole separate podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how I almost died in Compton. What do I title this? Uh, I was Ellis B boxing or how I almost died in Compton. <laughs> What's more dramatic? How we almost, how we almost died in Compton. How, how we almost died beatboxing in Compton. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. So I, I had filmed a few videos in Compton before the first video I filmed in Compton was giving away Jordans in the hood. And that's back when like in the hood videos were totally normal and like popular. Yeah. Which is weird. A weird point in time <laughs> but i went into the hood i went drove into compton like not even like in the city area where we were like i went into the neighborhoods like i was walking around the neighborhoods oh, with seriously a, a fucking giant duffel bag <laughs> filled with jordans yeah because we were on like main street that, that's like, a death we wish compton. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy dude. and i was just giving them out i don't know how nothing happened so that was great everyone was super cool with me but like we we saw like just in the hour that I was there, like I saw like probably two street fights break out. Like there's a basketball court next to us with like 40 dudes just in the middle of the day. Everyone's just playing basketball. Just we saw know. like a, uh, a fight break out there. Another fight outside the gas station, like shit just going down in Compton 24 <laughs> seven. <laughs> um, but it was, I feel, I thought it was great. I was expecting the worst. So the second video I filmed there, um, I want to say the second video was when me and Futuristic went there and we did the nerd raps in Compton and we did oh, nerds yeah. freestyle in Compton. And then I want to say I've been there a few other times, um, but to, to get to the point, we were filming nerds beatbox in Compton. So I'd done the nerds rap and like, oh, they they loved it. Yeah. And I want to, I want to like chime in real quick. I remember I was like, are you sure you want to do Compton? Because, you know. I, you know, it was my first time. I was a little like scared a little Cause bit. Cause you always hear about Compton. You yeah, always hear yeah. like, don't go there. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember I was like, Oh, I don't know. And then you were like, dude, I filmed there a few times. Nothing, nothing's happened. It's I'm like, fine. bro, the hood <laughs> loves me. <laughs> <laughs> and then this happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we go to Compton. It's me, you, Crispy D. Who's the, who's the cameraman at that uh, point? Cameron. Oh, it was Cameron? Cameron and then uh, Luke was there. Okay, so we had Cameron um, and we had Luke. So Luke like a bodyguard. is who used to be Andrew Hill's cameraman. Yeah. And I don't know why I had Luke as a bodyguard. Like, <laughs> he's not going to do anything. <laughs> like, just, like, just another white dude. <laughs> Skinny, tall, white guy. Yeah. <laughs> Which brings me to, like, the beginning of the story. Uh, right before this whatever i'm about to tell everybody happened <laughs> and this is in the video we're out by the train station and this lady walks up to us and she's like what are you guys doing in compton and i'm like what do you what do you mean like we're just two regular dudes like why are you just coming up and asking us what are we doing here i remember that too. and she's like i just never seen more than she either said i've just never seen more than one white person together 
That's right. Or uh, I've never seen two white boys. That yeah yeah. In she Compton before ever. <laughs> yeah. ever. And she's like thirty five. <laughs> she was like so confused why we we're there. Yeah, she, she just came like, up and started talking. And she's like, "Why are you guys here?" <laughs> it's like, well, "What do you mean?" And it's because we're white. Yeah yeah, it was kind of crazy. So I was like, "Okay, that's like strange." Like at that point, we like we know we look out of place. Yeah, definitely. Not we're only like that, because we're in full <laughs> we're in full nerd uniform. We're not just any white guys. We're like the <laughs> ultimate white characters, mm-hmm. like just straight nerdy, white and nerdy is what we are at this point. Yeah, we had the Ernie glasses on the the shirts with the dogs Animals. and dinosaurs on them. <laughs> the shorts pulled up high, long socks, shoes from Walmart. So we were in that area, and then basically what happened was we were trying to stay in, like, a public area that's right by the train, and we wanted to be in an area where it was somewhat public, you know. If, if a lot of traffic, too. Yeah, a lot of traffic, a lot of people, you know, not as likely for anything, like, crazy to happen. Yeah. But the mics kept popping, and there's a lot of static in that area because how the wireless mics work when you're filming pranks is, like, the more radioactivity that's in one spot, the higher chance it's going to break up the frequency and – since they're totally wireless, they'll start getting pops and you're doing your performances and the whole time, like you're, you're, you're beatboxing. It's like, like you're beatboxing, but the mic's like, and then it goes silent and then it pops. And then you hear a little bit. What a lot of people don't know is when we're filming the prank videos, like there's a lot of times so many great clips that we can't use because the audio was never picked up or because it's in and out. yeah. Yeah. So that was happening a lot. And we're like, okay, let's just go into like the neighborhoods a little bit. We'll just start walking this way. And, you know, we'll just do our thing. So we walk a few blocks over and we're starting to get into the neighborhoods and we're standing on a corner at the crosswalk waiting for the light to turn green. So at this point, it's just not us two nerds, but it's the cameraman and the alleged bodyguard at this point. So (laughs) four just four random white dudes misplaced and confident. It's like a movie in this suburban. Wait, let me time time out. We Uh, say, yeah, we we did a clip. And it's actually in the video, and it's that it's the it's the guy and girl, the and guy and the wife beater. Yeah, and and then the girl was like, "How he do that? How he do that?" Uh huh. And we were, and then when the suburban came, the we same were, spot. Yeah, right at that spot. Yeah. So we just did that clip. Me and you were walking back to. Oh, so we weren't. It the, wasn't all four of us. It was just me and you. Yeah, but we were. I mean, it was all on the sidewalk. They were on the corner of the sidewalk, and we were just maybe like fifty feet okay, down. Okay, gotcha. We just finished the clip. We were walking down to them, and then by the time we started running, <laughs> we were like right there with each other. Okay, uh, but it was literally right after. It all we did happened the clip. so fast. Yeah, it was crazy. I got to take a drink before. Right, I'll let you continue, but. Okay, so the suburban, this old suburban. Windows down. Windows down, hits the corner. There's like, there's there's a dude literally, not the windows aren't just down. There's a dude hanging out of it, each window. Yeah. They'll have bandanas on. Sh- like shirtless. They're all shirtless, tatted. yep. <laughs> They're all shirtless, tatted. They all have bandanas on. They're all hanging out of the windows, like just, just, no fucks looking, given. Looking for something. Hanging out of the windows. And and those are the only dudes hanging out of the windows. I think there's a, probably eight of them in the car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Dude, it was like like a GTA 5 oh, like, yeah. Suburban. Just, too, like just a subwoofers, <laughs> yeah. music blasting. <laughs> and as one of them is hanging out the window, we're, he's hanging out. So we're almost looking at him face to face. And dude just has death in his eyes, death in his voice. He goes, what the fuck? fuck y'all doing out here boy <laughs> and i was just like at that point da, I, da, I knew that we shouldn't be there <laughs> da, da, i was like i was like holy shit <laughs> dawson was like da, dawson was like don't look just keep walking just keep walking so don't look. so i was like don't look just keep walking i turn around and we all start to walk and then they take a u-turn through the middle of the road of an intersection yeah they hit a u-turn through the middle of traffic over the train track and like you can hear like, them like yeah they're peeling out in the middle of an intersection turning back towards us i was like oh fuck <laughs> you you fucking looked at me and you were like run <laughs> that's literally <laughs> what he dun, 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 dun. Yeah. it was memes. like the meme it was seriously <laughs> it like was the literally meme. the meme <laughs> you were like dude run <laughs> dude, i'm not kidding you man it was <laughs> I i'll wish never I could forget watch this back dude. as like a movie i know it's nuts and um God, I don't even, <laughs> it was the scariest moment in my life. So at this point, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, they're, they're coming, they're, they're obviously very upset that we're here. 
Um, Probably because either they're they just they don't like us being there, or maybe they knew we were maybe exploiting the Compton thing because maybe they saw that we were making true. A maybe there's I and, and someone has said that they're like someone said something like they felt like. We were exploiting people in Compton because we were filming a video there, um, which I disagree with. I mean, I I guess we were using Compton in the title. We were pranking people there, but you know, we're having fun. Yeah, it's you know, we're not negative. exploiting them. We're not walking up and throwing pies on people. Yeah, yeah. We're beatboxing. We're rapping to people. We're giving them Jordans. We're doing all fun, positive things. Yeah, putting positive reactions in the video. There's For no sure. not one negative reaction like. People, I, and I understand how people from there could see it as us exploit. I, I do understand that point of view at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but no reason to kill us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but anyways, at, at that point, it was running through my head. The two things that I can imagine is about to happen is, number one, they're about to get out and just jump us, which is probably the most practical. But there's also another thought in my head, like they could be pulling back to do drive-by on us. Exactly. Like that's pretty probable as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but those are those are in the heat of the moment. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So that's when I, I turned to you and I said, run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we take off running. And so here we are, these two nerds running through Compton. This SUV's peeling out through an intersection. We hit off, like, there's, like, a gas station, and there's, like, kind of, like, a back alley. So we kind of veer off through the gas station into that back alley where they can't drive and there's like a bit of an alley. So we keep running down that. And um, once we go into the alley, we totally lose them. So we're, we're assuming that they're driving alongside us on the road. So what I remember at least is we kind of dip off to the side, go through like a, a couple little turns through different back alleys, and we run into a McDonald's. Like yeah. We see a McDonald's, we're like, the Golden Arches. <laughs> we just run inside the McDonald's. We made sure that no one saw us go inside the McDonald's. But even once we got in the McDonald's, I was super sketched out because yeah. I was like, there's a couple things that can happen at this point. Um, they could find out where we are, run in here, and we're totally cornered and trapped. Yeah. The second thing was, and this is also me um, jumping to conclusions, but I feel like there was gang activity in that area and there was possibly lookouts inside the McDonald's because there was a couple people in there that were just constantly staring. Were, well, everyone was kind of staring, but everyone there was a couple people that us. had no food. Um, they're just sitting at, at, uh, at tables with nothing on them, doing absolutely nothing. They were staring at us and then they were coming up and asking us questions. Yeah. Which I was like, this is kind of weird. Like, I felt like they had no idea what just happened in that situation. Obviously, I don't think they were linked at all, but I feel like it was like we are being interrogated in a McDonald's. Yeah. A I mean, bit. I think we just stood out so much that Probably they were just so. like, they were like, what the hell are you? They were even like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Kind of thing. That's how, almost how I felt. We were just sitting in a McDonald's and we didn't like, abruptly like run in there and like well, kind oh of. shit you know well <laughs> we, we kept yeah, it quiet yeah. but we definitely came sprinting through the oh door. yeah 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 you're right you're right but yeah we were uh i mean even the employees at mcdonald's they were just like just staring at us and it almost felt like they were like yo you what are you doing <laughs> so so i was parked about i would say half a mile a mile away so, not a mile i'd say about half a mile away um and I was like, okay, it's three o'clock. I was like, we got to finish this video. We got about half a video. It's great, but we're not finishing it in Compton. I was like, I know an area we can go to that's like a little safer. Um, and the biggest problem is like how we're going to get to my, to my truck. Yeah. Because in order to get there, we're going to have to run there in broad daylight. And the chances of them <laughs> seeing us, I feel like are pretty high. Yeah. Like this is five, five minutes after this just happened. So they're obviously out there looking for us. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, perfect. I'll call, I'll call an Uber. So I call an Uber, boom, accepted, immediately canceled. I was like, that's weird. Call another Uber, boom, accepted, immediately canceled. I called four Ubers. No one would come into that area. Oh, geez. Everyone man. was canceled. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Not, I, not I a single that. Uber would come to where we were. Jeez. So I'm guessing they just saw the area that we were at and they're like, nope, not going in there. Probably. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. That's nuts, man. So you ended up just, you just went to your truck, right? You're like, so, I'm just gonna so after I got stuff. four Ubers canceled, I was getting like a lot of anxiety. I just felt like claustrophobic. Like 
I feel like they're going to run up in the McDonald's and find us. At this point, I don't think that that would have happened. But yeah. with the people asking us questions, I'm like, who knows? Just what if, you out, Mark. What if they know them? At this point, my mind is racing. So yes. I'm like, okay, guys, like at this point, this is my fault. I told us all that we're coming here. <laughs> I got us into this situation. I'm going to get us out. So I was like, you guys stay here. I'm going to run and go get the truck. And I'll hopefully bring it back. I know. I remember waiting and I was like, I hope Dawson made it to his truck, dude. <laughs> like, God, I hope he made it. Yeah. So you, Chris, and Luke waited in the McDonald's. And this is the part where I imagine it being like a movie where it's like slow motion, like Ernie swinging open the door. <laughs> I'm walking out of the McDonald's. And then as soon as I step foot out, just boom, run. <laughs> yeah. And I just take off, dude, sprinting fast as I possibly can. Yeah. My heart's beating out of my chest. Um, I run, I run, I run right through the area where it just happened. I'm looking all directions, constantly turning behind me, looking behind my back. I run through that little intersection, keep going. And then I get to the point where I can see my truck and it's like, I see the golden it's gates, like, dude. I'm just save like, me. <laughs> come on, God, please. I'm praying the whole time. And, and I make it to my truck, hop inside, um, swing by McDonald's, pick you guys up. And that's the last time I stepped foot in Compton. Yeah, man. I, I, yeah, I remember we got in the truck and we were driving out and you're like, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to go back to Compton or something like that. Yeah. yeah was I was nuts. scared, not just for my life. I, I thought I was going to get everybody killed. Yeah, no. I mean, you don't know what could have happened. That's the thing. I always look back and I'm like, I don't know what they were wanting to do or what yeah. they were going to do, you know? Whatever. And, we know it wasn't friendly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't even think we could even explain like I don't that even think moment, they would have like, cared if yeah. we were like, "Hey, we're making like a." Cool there's no time B-box for. Video. There's no time for explanation. Yeah. In a situation like that it just ex- escalates so fast. Yeah, and it was. I don't know, dude. I always think about that, and I always tell people too. I always wonder, like, what would have happened? Yeah, I mean, at the very least, they would have just beaten the shit out of us. Yeah, yeah. but you don't know what what anybody's capable. How of. badly or anything? If, if that were to happen in in just anywhere. In, Canada Mm -hmm. doesn't matter you never know what people are are capable of yeah all we know is they were pretty aggressive and they they were were very they were not happy that we were there (laughs) (laughs) that's the only thing I know (laughs) god that's a great story that's great